Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 53. In this training tutorial, we're going to take a look at setting up our idle control based around a drive-by wire throttle body. We have a lot to talk about in order to get our drive-by wire set up and regulate it for the airflow for idle conditions so that we have our proper idle. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with programming our drive-by wire throttle control in relation to our idle control. Now, the last few tutorials, we looked at mechanical base idle, stepper and pulse with modulated idle control, motor base idle control. Now we're looking at drive-by wire specific. Drive-by wire is by far the most consistent and simplistic way to set up our idle control. We'll be allowing additional airflow, essentially our engine torque, based on our throttle plate opening. So we can close or open the throttle plate more to have more or less idle torque to influence the engine's idle speed lower or higher. Now we can still use our spark timing feedback to have that reactive fine adjustment in our engine's torque output for idle control. The airflow based to the throttle plate opening will be more of our course adjustment. It's the same concept of what we discussed in the last tutorial, looking at the stepper and pulse with modulated idle control um, and, and all the details with that, but now just a slightly different frame of reference because we're using a throttle body instead. So we're actually using our throttle plate to have everything work. Now, we're gonna go through in this tutorial how to set up our drive-by wire, uh, looking at setting up our pedal sensors, our plate sensors, the output, the H bridge for the control um, to open and close and drive that throttle plate opening, configuring all that, making sure it's calibrated. Then we'll take a look at configuring our idle control and how that integrates back here into our target RPM, our base table, our minimum table, and our PID gains. Again, essentially everything we cover in that last tutorial in terms of the ideas of what we're doing and trying to accomplish here has not changed. We're trying to get a certain level of torque output at idle to maintain a certain desired idle speed. We'd accomplish this in two different ways. We have our airflow base, which is our course adjustment. That's our passive, slower type of moving adjustment. Then we have our spark timing, which is gonna be our finer dynamic type of adjustment that allows us um, to really get things uh, into the last little bit of control in terms of getting to that idle speed that we'd like to be at. So we use both the airflow and spark timing together in conjunction with each other to achieve that desired idle torque output, desired idle speed, and therefore doing exactly what we want, and performing how we'd like within the idle control routine. Let's jump in here and take a look first and foremost of how to set up our drive-by wire throttle body. Now, we're gonna be taking a look at another tutorial at drive-by wire and just general operations some ideas to go along with that. I'll be covering the setup in that tutorial as well. So we're actually gonna have a little bit of redundancy here, but that's fine. If you click on this tutorial um, and you're gonna go through everything from start to finish here, it'll be found in that other tutorial and that's gonna be more for off idle. So driving, full throttle, um, we'll have kind of two separate tutorials here, but on the same topic, on the same general idea here of drive-by wire. So let's jump in and take a look at how we're going to configure our drive-by wire setup here. So we have our pedal and we have our plate and we need to go and have our Haltech controlling everything and we need to calibrate it and sync everything so that the Haltech knows exactly what's going on before we can actually use this. So the first thing we need to do here is jump over into main into the navigation tree. Now here's where we need to go and pay attention to a specific detail. If we go into sensors, in this case, you can notice that normally I would have throttle position toggled on here. If I have a cable driven throttle body, this needs to be on. With drive-by wire, you need to make sure that this is toggled off. We can't have a cable driven TPS sensor set up here, even virtually in the Haltech, even though if we're not using it, it'll cause conflicting errors and create problems in the drive-by wire control. You need to make sure that that isn't toggled on here. Now, if you're dealing with a plug and play base file from Haltech and a plug and play application where your vehicle is already drive by wire, then this isn't gonna be relevant. But if you're converting a cable driven throttle body vehicle, I have a Honda Civic here, a 1996 Honda Civic, that is exactly the situation that I was in. I was cable, I had a cable throttle body set up and configured in the Haltech. I retrofit it, Nissan 350Z pedal and throttle body assembly to my engine into the vehicle. So. I had to make sure I toggled this off. I wanted to point that out here first and foremost. The next thing that we need to do is jump here into our engine functions. Pay attention to a few things. Now, what we're gonna do here is turn on our drive-by wire option. We're gonna do that here under the other and under drive-by wire throttle. You can see it right here, let's toggle that on. 
Now we're gonna do a reboot, so we have the Hall Tech taking those changes, and we wanna make sure um, as we're doing any of this that the engine is not running, that should kinda of go without saying, but we wanna make sure that the engine is off, so key on engine off in order to do any configuration, any setup in, in working with this. And if you are trying to run your engine with your drive-by wire, chances are it wouldn't fire off anyway um, and control anything and work, but just to make sure you're not trying to do any of this with the engine actually running, um, that won't work and it'll definitely cause you some issues. So my engine is not running. Um, the engine speed is zero, the key is ignition key is on, and I have toggled this on right here. Now it's showing in red because we have a lot of things to resolve in terms of errors here under the drive-by wire to make things work. So first and foremost, if we click on drive-by wire, we're gonna find here we have a brake pedal check. Now this is set to disable. What this is gonna do is allow us to have a safety net in place. If we get into a runaway throttle situation as we're driving, we wanna be able to hit the brake and have the throttle body clamp down to a lower value. That's gonna be found here under our max braking TPS. I'm gonna go ahead and enable this. You can Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.